guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that stupid ass shit you was talking when I was driving. I no. guarantee you that. I'll tell I tell you, I, I, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that dumb ass shit you was talking. Get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with some more trucking. Today, we got a video, man. Two truck drivers. One was a trainer. One was a trainee. The trainer said something out of the way to the trainee, and the trainee just slap goes off. But anyhow, I get into the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. The like button throws me into the algorithms and help the video to get traction. So, um make sure y'all hit the like button and leave a comment man leave a comment let me know what y'all think about this let me know do y'all think that the trainee was in the wrong was the trainer in the wrong i mean y'all let me know it's an older video i'll be back with my commentary at the end of this video is that how we gonna start the week off man you're not in the right fucking way you know what I, I'm if a, you're not gonna listen if you're not gonna listen we'll park this fucker Trying to tell you what I don't give a fuck happened. what you trying to tell me, homeboy. Right. You gotta learn how to talk to me, motherfucker. I tell you right now, this is my truck and I'm responsible. Fuck for this it. whole ass truck. Fuck this motherfucker. Fuck is you talking about? You got me fuck. fucked up. For real. Yeah. Well, I just trying to you. tell you something. I don't give a fuck what you trying to tell me, motherfucker. What time you talk to me? All right, well, let's park it. You're all done. No problem. I'll take you right back to your plan. No fucking problem. Park it, right? Now, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that stupid ass shit you was talking when I was driving. No. I guarantee you that. I'll tell I you what I, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that dumb ass shit you was talking. Get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, you blood? You talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your bullshit. motherfucking ass, homeboy. Fuck wrong with you. I'll beat the fuck out of you in here. You better watch how the fuck you talk to me. Well, I told you. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. Watch yep. how you talk to me. You will get fucked up in here, Dave. Straight up. I'm not, you what, I'm not gonna put up with that. I don't shit. give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I beat your ass in here, huh, mm -hmm. motherfucker. I beat the fuck out of you. You better watch how you talk to me. I'm a grown ass man. So am I. Fuck is wrong with you, bitch ass nigga. So y'all, let me know what y'all think. Y'all think he got out of the truck and and they wind up getting into it. Or what? Let me know what y'all think. Hit me in the comment section and let me know. Now, like I said, this is an older video, so a lot of y'all probably already seen it, but, you know, I thought it was a, a, a oldie but a great. You know, it never gets old because a lot of these drivers and trainees, they get out here with a trainer, and the trainer just think that they can treat them any kind of way because they feel like, oh, I got 20 years under my belt, and you only got a day or two under your belt or a week or two or however. And so they feel like they can treat you any kind of way. Well, I went on Instagram and I found this guy. His name is Intercontinental Reek underscore. Inter Intercontinental underscore Reek. That is his name on Instagram. So if y'all want to go look him up, he got a podcast, uh, Why Lie. Go make sure you go check him out. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Yeah, man, I don't think that he did anything wrong. If you listen to his side of the story and you listen to him tell it, you know, I'm gonna play a clip for y'all right quick. Hold on. So, but but by that second day, I started to read some of the comments and shit. And motherfuckers is laughing. Motherfuckers is shocked. Like, oh shit, dog tripping. And whoa, he's about to beat the fuck out of him. And, you know what I'm saying? The comments is going bananas. I'm, I'm, I still laugh at the comments. I ain't gonna cap. Right? So, motherfuckers is in there like, is this shit fake? It, was it scripted? You know what I'm saying? It, it, like, the comments is going nuts. But what I realized, right? was uh, a lot of truckers was commenting and about 80% of the motherfucking comments from other truck drivers was with relatable stories with their trainers hey bro I went through this with my trainer I was about to beat the shit out of my trainer I had to jump out the truck with my trainer my trainer was talking to me that my trainer did this uh, I, I got left for the truck stop me and my trainer got into it like this is really so I soon learned that this is a, a, a thing within trucking. Like this, this isn't just an isolated incident between me and Dave. This is a, a, a real fucking thing. Like between uh, new CDL holders and trainers, right? So the reason it's a thing is uh, it's a couple of reasons, and I don't know all of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm no fucking expert, but just my take. You know what I'm saying? My my, my portion of understanding, right? So. <clears throat> 
uh, when you're training a student, right? So you're, you're training someone who just got their CDL. All CDL holders have to drive in a truck with somebody who already has their license for at least 30 days. I don't care if you're buying your own truck. If you're working for a company or you bought your own fucking truck, you have to be in a truck with, a other, with another licensed CDL holder for at least 30 days before you can jump out on the road. Because they want to know that you ain't just going to get in this motherfucker and kill a bunch of people on the highway, right? So you have to be trained, right? So after you get your CDL, you do your little, uh, and it's not necessarily 30 days, you know, it's 20, anywhere from 21 to 31 days with the trainer, right? So in that time, the trainers get paid a lot more to train you. So whatever the fuck they were making, you know, in, in, uh, in the CDL industry, you know, in the trucking industry, we get paid cents per mile. Right, so it might be fifty cent a mile, sixty cent, seventy cent, eighty cent. You know what I'm saying? Forty cent, whatever. But whatever they're getting paid, whatever their base pay is, they get an extra twenty cent per mile while while they're training you. Right. So if you're making fifty cent a mile, you're now getting seventy cent because you're training this dude. Right. So that's the incentive. That's like a whole nother fucking check. Put it like that. So if you making, if you driving a truck, you making a thousand dollars a week. That's like add another thousand. You know what I'm saying? That's like a whole nother fucking check that you're going to get because you're training, right? So uh, that's why a lot of people jump on the training. Yeah, I'm training somebody. I'll train somebody. But you have to understand, just because you drive a truck don't mean you know how to teach. Just because you've been doing something or you have experience doing this doesn't mean you're able to transfer that knowledge and teach it properly. You just might need to drive, my nigga. And that's the case with a whole lot of these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need to be teaching students at all because you're not a fucking teacher. You don't know how to teach. And you talking to another grown man any kind of way, that ain't going to never turn out good. You ain't going to walk in a restaurant and talk crazy to a motherfucker that you don't know. Another grown man. You ain't going to walk in Walmart and just talk crazy. So what the fuck make you think? that we living in this nine by nine box and you can talk to me any kind of way you want. You will get beat the fuck up in this bitch. And I ain't never claimed to be the toughest, most thuggest. I'll I whoop your motherfucking ass for disrespecting me, though, flat out. Hey, make sure you comment. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Was he right? Was he wrong? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Runaway child. And we are out.